Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this problem? 3x plus 2y equals to 6 and then 6xy equals to 5. Let's label this as equation 1, then this as equation 2. Then from equation 2, from equation 2, we can write this 6xy equals to 5 in other way. And uh, we can say this is 3x times 2y equals to 5. Same thing as 6xy. Then let's represent, let a be equals to 3x, then b be equals to 2y. Then we can rewrite the equations from what we have. Equation 1 now will now become a plus b equals to 6. So we have a plus b equals to 6. And the equation 2 will now become a b. That's a times b now. That's equals to 5. So we have a b then equals to 5. So let's call this equation 3. And let's call this equation 4. Now, also, from equation 3, let's make B a subject and take A to this side. Then from 3 now, from equation 3, we have B will then be equal to 6 minus A. So, now, we can substitute this back into, we call this equation 5. Substitute equation 5 now in equation 4. And the equation 4 will now become a times b. That's b is now 6 minus a. Then it will be equal to 5. So when we open this and we solve from here, we have a times 6, that's 6a. Then minus a times a, that's a squared, equals to 5. Then we can rearrange and bring 5 to this side. Then this will be minus a squared. Then plus 6a, then minus 5 will be equal to 0. Then we can also remove this minus and multiply through by minus. So this becomes a square minus 6a, then plus 5 equals to 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation in terms of a. We can factorize. And this will become a square minus a minus 5a, then plus 5 equals to 0. This here, yeah, same thing as minus a minus 5 is same thing as minus 6a. And then when we group this to 2, a is common here. Take it out. That's a out into bracket a minus 1. Then minus what is common here? That's 5 into bracket a minus 1 as well, which is equal to 0. Then a minus 1 common, then into bracket a minus 5 which is equal to 0 here. So we have two possible cases here. We have the first case, a minus 1 equals to 0. And then we have the second case that a minus 5 equals to 0. So here a is equal to 1. And then here a is equal to 5. Then from what we represented a as? We represented a as 3x from here. We said let a be equal to 3x. So when we take 3x as a now, so that means 3x is equal to 1. So we here as well, 3x is equal to 5. So when we solve on this side, we have from here, x will be equal to 1 over 3. Then to get the value of y there, we can make use of the equation that we have that says 3x times 2y equals to 5. Here, we replace the value of x here. That's 3 times 1 over 3. That's 3, we cancel 3. Here we have just 2y now. So that's 2y times 1, that's 2y equals to 5. Then y will then be equals to, when we divide both sides by 2, that's 5 over 2. And uh, also here we have x equals to 
divide both sides by 3, that's 5 over 3. And then when we use this equation as well, we substitute 5 over 3 for x here. 3 will cancel 3, we mean 5. 5 times 2y, that's 10y. So we have 10y equals to 5. And by the time we divide both sides by 10, we have 5 equals to 5 over 10. And when we reduce it, we have y equals to 1 over 2. So we have the value of x and y here. Then when we write out the solution properly, so we have the set of solutions that we have now are the first you know, set, we have x1, y1, if x1 is 1 over 3, and y1 is uh, 5 over 3, and x2 here we have 5 over 3, then y2 we have 1 over 2. Here we have come to the end of the class. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more of our videos. Also like these videos and share. See you in the next class and bye for now.